We're here in the hillside outside of Rome where Catholic legislators have been meeting for the last years, almost every year, to come together to share ideas, share experiences, pray together, but also learn a bit more about pressing issues of our time. With me here is the initiator of ICLN, that stands for the International Legislators Network, which is organizing this four-day retreat, Mr. Christian Alting von Goisau, thank you for being here. And maybe Christian, you can explain to us a little bit, what does it mean to be a Catholic legislator? Well, first of all, in the name it already says it, International Catholic Legislators Network. What does it mean to be a Catholic legislator? One of the most important things there is that as a legislator, one understands that not the party, not the state, not the president, but Christ comes first. That's the most important for the Catholic legislator and that's the biggest challenge for any Catholic legislator because of course the secular world in which also Catholic legislators actively participate and should participate requires them often to choose allegiance. And choosing that Christ is my first priority and my faithfulness to Christ is a big challenge and we want to help legislators with that. And so this, you say this is a big challenge. Yes. Um, do you also encounter politicians, legislators who come here who, who have this topic and, and how, can they, uh, how can they benefit from a meeting like this? What, what are they discussing here? Well, first of all, the motto of our organization is Faith Formation Fellowship. And that's where we're really about. We are completely nonpartisan. We are not an activist organization. We don't do lobbying. What we want to do is we want to bring them here. We want to strengthen them in their faith. We want to give them good education in the topics that matter, good formation, good information. We really want to have them all round informed on the pressing issues. And then thirdly, the fellowship part is so essential because it shows them that they're not alone in their daily battle, their daily challenge to remain faithful Christians and at the same time serve in public office in the secular world. And we have already seen that that leads very often to very positive results. Part of ICLN, part of the meeting here is usually always an encounter with the Holy Father. Right. And I understand that also this year there, there will be an encounter of, of the legislators with, with Pope Francis. What has been his message to, to, to the legislators over the years? The Holy Father really stresses that politics is a vocation to which also Christians are called and to which Christians are very much called. And he also always challenges us that we should not be afraid to get dirty hands, that he, he likes to say that. So he's been really encouraging Christians to go into the world of politics, to serve there, to serve their societies, and also really not to be afraid to stand up for that which the church has always been, of course, the great defender of, especially human dignity, human rights, but also the family, uh, children. All these themes have come up, and of course also the persecuted Christians. Why do we need Catholics in politics? What do Catholics bring into politics? They bring a much broader perspective into politics, because Catholic social teaching and the whole Christian tradition brings in Dutch such a deep understanding of what it means to be human. The church alone with all its encyclicals, all its other documents that speak about issues that pertain to politics, to society, are so rich. And Catholics who are educated, of course, they have to be educated and well-formed, they bring this long tradition of wisdom of the church about what it means to be human into politics and that can only be good for politics. So it's a broadening of the horizon. Christian, thank you very much for your time and for your thoughts and, and also uh, all the experiences that you had that you shared with us. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for the conversation.